Hi everyone, this is Susan. Today I want to introduce you to a really good friend of mine, Marty Whittakin, who is a nutritionist outside of Dallas. I've known her for 20 years and she's written a terrific book on the problem with proton pump inhibitors. And anyone with a concern with bone health should really be concerned with having strong digestion. If you find that you're needing proton pump inhibitors, you really need to read this book. The book is called Natural Alternatives to Nexium and Other Acid Blockers. Marty, welcome. I'm glad to have you with me today. Well, thank you for the invitation. I'm, I'm thrilled to be able to share this message. It's an important message, and the book is important to everyone. Marty, maybe you could take a second. You know, we, we really specialize in bone health. We have many, many women who are trying to build their bone health, doing all sorts of things to build their bone health yet some of them find they have digestive problems. Can you tell us why proton pump inhibitors drugs, why proton pump inhibitor drugs might be a problem for these women? Well, we have to start with the original plan. Nature had it all figured out. We need stomach acid to do a number of things. And when we don't have stomach acid in proper amounts, we run into trouble with vitamin B12, with digesting protein, but in this case, talking about bone health, the absorption of a variety of minerals is inhibited if we don't have stomach acid. The problem is these drugs do exactly what they say they're going to do. They block the production of stomach acid. Uh -huh. In order to deal with a symptom, they stop a natural process and there are, there are consequences for the long-term use and long-term use is really anything more than a couple of weeks. But if you read the package, that's all they're approved for. Now that's really very important because many people are using these for months, years on end. So really they're recommended for a couple of weeks. And after that, you really have to think about problems like poor absorption of minerals and poor absorption of other nutrients. And they even, even the FDA uh, just uh, usually would not do this sort of thing. They put a warning on the medication saying that if you use it for more than a year, you might be short in magnesium. Well, from your standpoint, magnesium is critical for bone health, but also give some thought to the fact that it's important to keep your, beat, your heart beating regularly, which everybody might have some interest in. Yes, exactly. We pay attention to calcium, but we forget magnesium, zinc, copper. All these things are very important, and the uptake of all of those is influenced by the hydrochloric acid. So that's really so important. And if a person, so Marty, what do you suggest if some of our women are using proton pump inhibitors? What's the first steps they take to begin to unravel this story? We know that the use of these drugs is associated with a greater risk for fracture. So we know we should do something. What are the Everyone should get the book, but outside of that, what are the, some of the first steps they can take? When I do book signings and there are physicians in the line waiting for a book, they kind of look side to side, make sure nobody's listening. They lean over and they say, I know what we're doing is wrong. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, well, isn't it? Yeah. What they, everybody needs to do is figure out, well, what is the cause of this acid reflux? Mm -hmm. and which it is not in almost no cases is it too much stomach acid. It's that the acid is getting someplace it doesn't belong. Mm -hmm. So why is it, um, and I say the first thing that people should do is get away from the processed foods, the starches and the sweets. Yeah. You're gonna solve a bunch of other problems while you're doing it, but it's shown that the getting rid of these uh, non-foods, they really aren't food, there was no nutritional need for them, that alone makes a big difference because you're not bubbling up the stomach acid, you're not uh, inflaming the little sphincter between the stomach and the intestines. And I'd always rather do something that takes us back to normal first before piling on a bunch of supplements. So you clean up your diet with fresh, whole, natural foods. How about an alkaline diet? Will that help tilting the diet towards, towards alkalinity? Uh, the alkaline diet is real foods. That's a really good place to start. Mm -hmm. and, okay. and, uh, and, and yes, and people um, 
probably think, well, I've got acid in my stomach, I should do the alkaline diet, but not for that reason. It's because in the alkaline diet, those are foods that you're good bacteria like, they're foods that nourish the body so that it can do what it's supposed to do. And in, in the book, I do talk about all of the great many long-term side effects of taking these medications. But the next thing I do is say, let's figure out what's really going on. Sometimes the problem is too little stomach acid. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And so you're only really making a problem worse by taking the drugs. If you don't have enough stomach acid, then the food stays in the stomach a long time trying to get digested. And, and fluid builds up and then it sloshes around and you bend over to tie your shoes or you go to bed and then it just kind of goes north and starts irritating the esophagus, which is not protected against any level of acid. Right, right, right. That's so interesting. And so eating in a peaceful place, being careful not to be rushed, not combining too many foods, not eating late at night. Those are all kind of typical things we think about that will help with reflux. And any other sort of tips? Uh, chewing is a lost art. <laughs> ah, chewing, right. Yeah, it doesn't cost a thing. And I think uh, just by chewing, uh, saying grace helps. I mean, we know that improves digestion, but slowing down long enough to chew the food reduces the load on the digestive tract so the food can get processed faster, go on and get out of the stomach where it, it doesn't need to be any longer. Um, and uh, taking care of our, our gut bacteria. Ah, the uh, gut bacteria, right, right, right. They're all tied together. There's so many things we can do. And what a good suggestion. Like when we quiet before the meal, when we stay great, we, we really like harmonize the body ability to do that miracle of digestion, to take a hamburger or a chickpea and turn it into flesh and blood is a really difficult thing. So that's a great thought. Some of the simple things, you'll find many of Marty's tips and a very thorough analysis of why we should really not take the shortcut and just jump into drugs to suppress hydrochloric acid but rather get to the cause of the hydrochloric acid. Now, Marty, where can people get your terrific book on proton pump inhibitors and their problems? Uh, it, before I answer that, if I could add one more thing, just to show the variety of causes that I talk about in there. One of them is hiatal hernia. Right. People go to the doctor and the doctor says, oh, you have hiatal hernia, that's why you have this, this acid reflux problem. And the surgery is uh, very difficult and doesn't always work. So you're just gonna have to take this drug forever. Uh, I talk about natural ways to solve the problem with the hiatal hernia or whatever. There are half a dozen basic causes and people can figure out what those are. And then I have a lot of natural remedies to help with the immediate problem while you're solving the bigger problem. Uh, the book is available uh, wherever books are sold, uh, Barnes and Noble, Amazon. Uh, there are links to all four of my books on my website, which is healthybynatureshow.com. HBNshow.com is the short version, but you can just click on that and uh, get a competitive. It's not an expensive book. I mean, the, the full list price is $6.95. So. Yes, yes. It's, it's amazing that it can be made to available at this price. Yeah. And it's so, well, you know, I'm not in it for the money. <laughs> it's such a nice contribution to think how, as we struggle to get to the causes of our bone health problem, we must look at all the collateral problems and digestion is extremely important. So to all of my listeners, if you're, want strong bone health, we must have strong digestion. If, you, if there's some weakness in bone health, consider looking at Marty's book. It's a very comprehensive discussion of how to build bone health. Marty, thanks for being with us. We'll talk later about some of your other books. This was fun. Let's do it again. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.